Palashik slams LNP over One Nation. Anastasia Palashik has vowed to remind Queenslanders every single day that a vote for One Nation will help opposition leader Tim Nichols become the next Premier of the state. Her declaration came after the Liberal National Party announced it would reserve the last spot on its How to Vote cards for the Greens in the upcoming state election but also ask voters to put one nation above labor in a swath of seats. There is a deal. The deal is now there on the table for everybody to see, M.S. Palashik said after pledging $5.5 million to transform a government warehouse into a sports complex in Brisbane's north. I will be reminding Queenslanders of this deal every single day. But LNP President Gary Spence stressed the party has not entered into preference arrangements with the likes of One Nation ahead of the November 25th poll. We make recommendations, through our How to Vote cards. But they are recommendations and we trust Queenslanders to vote for change, he said in a statement. It was a line repeated by M.R. Nichols on Saturday after fielding questions about recent revelations concerning One Nation candidate Mark Thornton. Mr. Thornton was on Friday grilled about an adult store he owns. In particular he was asked about posts on the business's Facebook page, including one that read, Good sex should be in the gray sick area between tickle fight and domestic violence. When it comes to preferences, what we've simply said are these are recommendations. I will let Pauline Hansen deal with her candidates, M.R. Nichols told reporters at Everton Park. But when pressed to say if he supported the adult store's Facebook page content, M.R. Nichols said, not at all. That information is as new to me as it is to you guys in the media. Those decisions were made in terms of us yesterday afternoon before we saw that information, he said. MS Palasuk also faced questioning on Saturday following reports her government in May agreed not to support a $1 billion federal taxpayer-funded loan to Adani months before she fronted the cameras to announce the decision last week. The revelations in The Australian led to opposition claims the Premier had put her own job ahead of those of regional Queenslanders. Everything that motivates me is about getting people into work, she responded. The political tit-for-tat came after both party leaders put campaigning briefly on hold to attend a Remembrance Day service in Brisbane's CBD on Saturday morning. Put like subscribe to the channel and watch other videos on this channel.